Thanks. Good morning. We all know that the um, environment is changing. Today, I'm going to talk about the role media can play to support people to adapt to a changing environment. I will show how media, well designed to meet people's needs, can improve knowledge, confidence, and ultimately lead to behavior change. So I just realized I've forgotten the clicker. <laughs> Um, today, I'm going to talk about an example in Bangladesh where we used media to help people cope for extreme, to, for extreme weather better. At the start of any programming, we need to understand people's needs. So in Bangladesh, we conducted a nationally representative quantitative survey of over 3,000 people to really understand what people's lives were what impacts they were feeling and, and how they were coping. What we found was that people did not feel prepared for extreme weather. Over 50% felt that they couldn't prepare for extreme weather, such as a cyclone hitting or monsoon rains coming later. We also found from the analysis that people who felt connected to the community felt better prepared for extreme weather. They were discussing these issues with others and they were solving those problems as a group. Whether, whether those who felt less, less involved in their community were isolated and felt more helpless. Using the data, we use a process called audience segmentation to identify three key target groups. I'm just going to talk through these three. So meet Mahmouda. She has recently migrated to the city, and she doesn't have the same community connections that she had. She's struggling to feed her family, and she feels isolated. And then Sultan, a fisherman here, came under the struggling segment. This segment made 30% of the population, and these were generally fishermen or farmers who were struggling with their livelihoods. They were realizing the impact that they had, but they were struggling to cope. And then people like Rajiv, who were making a start. They were working out what crops that they could grow instead and using small plots of land to, to trial other crops and to use techniques to get the most of their land. So what do we do with all this information? Well, we started to design a project using media as the core. It was a TV reality show called we, we, which we called Amre Parry, We Can Do It. And the purpose was to inspire people, sorry, keep some, <laughs> to inspire people to work together as a community. Um, we worked with NGOs on the ground, and we worked with them to understand what were the actions that people can most take in their environment using the resources around them and what could be replicated across Bangladesh as this show was going on a um, national broadcaster and was reaching, reaching the whole of the country. So we worked with those to come up with actions such as floating gardens or other things that people can do with the resources that they had to hand. I'm now going to quickly show you a one-minute clip of this program. Amrai Fari means together we can do it. It's encouraging communities to prepare for disaster by working together. It started as a TV show, but has evolved into something much bigger. Amra je koshole bari ti toiri korchi, shei koshole shudhu matro no tun bari noy. Pura tun bari o mera mot kore durjok shonshil kora shomhob. Vishesh kore jeshobe lakai jhoro batash beshi, kimbha ghuni tar hoy, sheshobe lakai ei koshol gulo khub kaje ashbe. Pali tevan je jeva ko ghar bande sheba shikai shi ami ei bhabe ara bapna ti tal shei bhabe shab chet korte. Chet kiri aro ami bish konish kan ghar. আমি এইভাবে নিজ হাতে করেছি এইভাবে হাড়ি করে বা ওই আরও যারা যাদের যাদের নিয়ে গেলাম তাদেরও এইভাবে শুরু হচ্ছে সব কাজ
So what did we see when we evaluated the impact of the program? We saw that it reaches people. Um, over the five years, it reached 22.5 million people who had um, watched the program on TV. But what impact did it have? We saw that it increased understanding. 79% said that it increased their knowledge on how to adapt to the environment and gave examples of the knowledge that they had learned. We also saw the increased confidence. We um, conducted both quantitative and qualitative work to ascertain the impact. And this is a typical quote from one of our audiences. But what was most surprising, I think, was how much it seemed to enable action. Yes, at a small scale, enabling people to take small actions. But what we saw was that 47% of people could, um, could name an action that they took as a result of watching the show. So this was things like increasing the height of the house, or to smaller actions such as making water cleaner for them to drink, or for growing different crops in um, salinated water, for example. But how do we know this? We um, looked at the data and we measured, um, we looked at people exposed to our programs against those who are not exposed. And we controlled for factors that might explain those differences, such as um, education or income. And we still showed that um, people who were exposed to our program were more likely to take action. We also did some structural equation modeling to really understand how media led to change. And what we saw was that the program was helping people have a better understanding of risks. And also, they felt that they did not feel that they needed the, so much support from the government to be able to take action. We have also seen similar results in Tanzania, where we had a community radio station. Um, we we built, built their skills up, the three community radio stations, and they produced programming. This was slightly more agricultural-based and helped them to, um, to do things such as grow tomatoes. And we saw the same results. In this case, 30% of people said that they would take action. I think what we saw is when you really emphasize the economic benefits of taking something and really tailor the actions to use the resources that people can have, you then see results. So this is a quote from Tanzania. Um, we have all this data and all the reports from our work on this data portal, um, which I'll show you the URL at the end. And this is the data that you can see. So you, as well, can look at this data and to understand audiences and to see people like Mahmouda and Sultan to see what their needs are in the countries that you're working for. Um, and it can also, I think, media can really play a role in being able to amplify some of the impacts at, that people are having at the ground level. Thank you very much. <laughs>